one of the school buses for the East Hampton uh, School District parks on this street, just about where that Mercedes is right there, every day after making his run, sits there until about five minutes to four and then leaves. So today I decided I was gonna ask him what he was doing. All right, so this school bus stops and sits here every day after school, wasting time doing I don't know what. So I'm gonna ask this guy what it is exactly that he's doing every day. It's bus number 13, East Hampton Union Free School District. Hello, 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 hello. You got, you got a second? No. I just got a, I got a quick question for you. I live on this street, yes. and I see you parked here every day. Yes. What is the? What do you do here when you're parked here? I gotta wait to pick somebody up. You gotta wait to pick somebody up. Yeah. Oh, I got you. So what? You gotta pick up what at the school? Yeah. Which school? I do. I do the high school, the middle school. No, but I mean, like after you sit here during the day, then where do you go? Uh, John Marsh. Oh, so you gotta pick up a job. So you basically just sit here just to kill a little time and then go pick yeah, them up. Yeah. Okay. Just interesting because I see you here every day and I don't know what it's about, you know? So just asking, just a concerned citizen asking you what's going on. Yeah, well, you look kind of official for a concerned citizen. Well, yeah, okay. If I was official, what would that mean? Then you should even it be. Does, it doesn't mean anything, it's a question I answer. Yeah, exactly, that's all. Okay. All right, buddy. No you have a good day. All righty. Okay, so this bus driver that told me he is going to pick up at the school just pulled into his bus yard. I'm following him. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. This guy's sitting around killing time for his paycheck is what he's doing. Killing time. He probably wants to punch out at four o'clock, so he sits there for a half an hour. Well, we're going to go get to the bottom of this, guys. Yeah, you can wave at me all you want, bro. I just caught you lying. How about that? I don't know what he's waving at, but we'll see. I guess nobody likes getting caught sitting around on the tax dollar doing nothing how you doing man you're one of the drivers or are you a supervisor you guys there a supervisor around here I can speak to yep. very good East Hampton uh, where is it right in that office right there I'll be right there So he's making a phone call. I guess he doesn't want to talk to us. I don't know. Hello? Hello? He's telling me to hold on and wait. Hello? You stay out here with him, I'm gonna go in the office. We're gonna let Watch and the Watchman keep an eye on the bus driver. I'm gonna go in the office and see what's going on with that. See if there's a supervisor around we can talk to. Unbelievable. Hello? Hey. Is there a supervisor around by any chance? Uh, on the phone. On the phone? Yeah. Okay, I can wait. No worries. Is there... Can you tell me what their name is so I know who to ask for? Yeah, just hold on. 
Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yep. How you guys making out today? Not too bad. Good. At least there's no snow and ice on the roads for you, right? Yeah. yeah. You know, if he's busy, I'll hang out outside. I'll come right back in. Thank you, man. And what, what's his first name? So I know who I'm asking for. Joel. Joel? Yeah. All right, man. Thank you. Top secret on the guy's name here. So let's go see, since Joel, the supervisor, is busy, let's go see if the bus driver is interested in giving us his side of the story before we speak to Joel. Maybe he can give us a logical explanation that would make it so we don't have to. Hello? Yes, sir. I'm hoping to talk to you before I talk to Joel. Go ahead and talk to Joel. So, but didn't, didn't you just tell me five minutes ago that you were going to John Marshall to pick some kids up? No, I said I, that's what I do at four o'clock. No, you told me you were waiting to go pick up children. I said, where are you going right now? You said John Marshall. No, but I mean like after you sit here during the day, then where do you go? Uh, John Marshall. Did you not? What is it of your business? What, who are you? Well, are, you I'm, I'm, are you an official uh, person? I'd be more concerned with what you got going on right now, to tell you the truth. Well, you, you know, it's none of your business. How are we doing, Joel? What's going on? That's what I'm trying to find out. Okay. Um, this is your are driver. Are we on camera? Or I was on, are we on camera? Always. Okay. Always. Just like everywhere else you go in this world these days, you know? So it's an important issue, and you're going to want to hear what I have to say, because I don't want to okay, have to go I to your boss. Your driver doesn't want to explain what's going on to me, so why don't we get out of this? Why don't we get out of this guy's way? About what? Um, this gentleman parks that bus on Dayton Lane, right. okay, every day when he's done making his pickups, okay, and sits there and kills time until four o'clock and then comes back to the yard, mm -hmm. okay. So today I decided to ask him what he was doing, mm -hmm. okay. So I pulled up, knocked on the door, he opened up the door. Uh, said to him, why is it, why are you sitting here just wondering what you're doing? I really appreciate it if you wouldn't be filming this. Well, I would appreciate it if I get a straight answer. Well, I will, I will, but, you know. You know, this is important stuff, right. you know, so he's... Okay, take the, take the, I'll have this, give me your phone number, and I'll have the supervisor, the manager, call you tomorrow. You're not the manager? No. Oh, so I was told you were the manager. Well, I'm the one who's here right now. That's about it. Well, all I could tell you is, is yeah. I would like to okay. just get an answer. Sure. Okay. So in you're a, in a, in lane and you knocked on the yeah, door. Yeah, I'd like to get an answer. Just talk to you about it real okay, quick, sure. and then we can put it to rest. Okay. I don't want to go file okay. police reports and okay. do that kind of thing. Right. And but same so, time, I don't like that. But, uh, okay. I just I'll try to. Make you will make yourself. Halfway. You will make yourself look very okay. professional okay. and like okay. a true gentleman. Okay. Just so answering my questions. So I knocked on the door. He opened up the door. I asked him why he sits on Dayton Lane. He told me that he was waiting to go make a pickup at John Marshall. Okay. I said, so you're leaving to go to John Marshall right now after you leave here. He said, that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I got back in my truck and in that 30 seconds, he left, okay, mm -hmm. drives away, comes directly here. Mm -hmm. Okay, because there was no after school club. So no. why would he tell me there was? I, I have to speak to you. All right, so the guy's obviously sitting on Dayton Lane to kill time. Mm -hmm. So he could punch out at four o'clock because he's a little early. Yeah. You know, not the biggest okay. crime against humanity. Not mm -hmm. a big deal. Okay. And if he would have been forthright with me, it would have ended right there. Okay, well, he doesn't okay. know who he's speaking to. Either, so, you know, that's it doesn't matter who he's speaking I to. I, I'm a concerned member I of the know. public. No, definitely. You know, we pay a lot of money for these buses. Definitely. And we definitely. pay a lot of money for these drivers. Yep, and my son goes to school here in East Hampton School District. You. And your name? I didn't give you my name. I know you didn't. <laughs> okay. So, um... I'd like to know what's going to be done about that. Okay. Are you aware of that situation? I'll speak. With, we'll speak with the supervisor tomorrow. Are you? Aware, are, is that something we'll you're aware? We'll speak with the manager tomorrow. Okay? That's fine. But I'm just asking if you. you. Give me a number. We can get the back the to manager, you. The manager. The manager can't answer for okay. you. I'm just asking no, you if you're aware. I of will. It. If you give me a number, we'll get back to you tomorrow. So the answer is, is that okay. you just don't want to answer. Give me a number, or else call us tomorrow. Okay. What time is he if, here? He's here about eight thirty in the morning. Eight thirty in the morning. Who am I asking for? Joe Lapani. Joe Lapani. Yeah. Okay, and he's here at 8.30 in the morning. Yeah. All right. And so who should I tell him he's going to be calling? 
You can. I'll give you my first name. My first name is Jason. Jason. I'll, I'll be giving him all my. You know, yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah, when I when I talk to the head, I'll give him all my information. No, that's okay. Fair enough. I only know Joel. I don't know your right. last name. I was just wondering. Would that. you be willing to give me the first name of the driver no. so I know who I'm no, speaking? No, I'm not giving. I'll, well, I'll speak to Joe. Well, then I'm gonna call. Uh, well, what do I? When I come in tomorrow and speak to Joe. Yeah. What I'm do I say? Just him some him random driver. Tell him that you're Jason and that you spoke with me and he'll have the. So I gave you my first name. You gave me your first name. You want? You won't tell me the guy's first name. I'm not gonna. You know, give you. Of the employee. His first name? I'm not gonna, what do you have to hide? Just, just call, I don't have nothing to hide. Just, you may, now, you, now, you, now you're tweaking my interest and we're going to start okay, looking Jason, into things. Let's call Joe tomorrow. I'm going to ask him what his name let's is. Let's call Joe tomorrow. Okay? I'm going to ask him what his yeah, name please, is. No problem. Okay. Should I call someone or can you ask you guys to leave me? All you have to do is tell me what his name is. A, a first name. How about an initial? All right. A first initial. Okay. His first initial is B. B. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just say driver, right. first initial B, driving right. bus 13. Does Jay, he drive bus 13 every day? Is that his bus? to Joel Yes. Okay. 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 Good. And now what I'd like to do is also, okay. since you're acting as supervisor right now, I'd like to review the inspection reports for that bus. No, I don't have any of the reports. Oh, yes, you do. I don't have he's them. Got, he's got, up in a file. No, it's not. It's on the bus. He's no. going to, he's filling it out right he now. Have his, I know how this he works, should, oh, sir. He's filling out just the sheet for the day. And, and those things okay. are supposed Come to be on. made accessible to the public, yes, and I'm okay. here you asking go, for it. You go, I, I'm not... I'm not authorized just to hand over any. Nobody has to be authorized. Those papers not, need to be made not, available to okay, a member no, of the public. If you want, to, if you don't want to go, I'll get someone here to ask you to leave and come back tomorrow. You haven't asked me to leave. I'm asking you, please. Let's leave, and we'll take care of this tomorrow. Well, but that's what I'm saying. I would like to ask him. No. If I could take a look at his inspection no, reports, if he says if he says no, I will come back no, and speak to Joe in the morning. Take a look at it. We'll, we'll, the supervisor will make. So it you're denying me access yes. to documentation. You guys are going to open yourselves up to a mess. That's fine. Let's let's call tomorrow and we'll go from there. Okay. So his name is Joe. Right. And this guy's first initial is B. Right. And he always drives bus 13. Right. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. We'll we'll do it that way. Yep. Looks like you called somebody already. No, I didn't call anyone. Oh, somebody did. I'm standing here with you. Unless these, well. I don't know. Well, you got plenty of people working. It doesn't matter to me. I'll tell this, it's them the same thing I told you. Right. If you want to take it further, that's fine. Would have been nice to handle it in a nice small town friendly way, you know? It would be, but it takes two to be friendly. Oh, why, why I'm not? It takes two to be friendly. Well, I say that louder so they hear you, so they can think that I'm not being friendly. No, I'm not. Not at all. How are we doing, bud? Good, how are you? I'm How you doing? I'm doing well. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. That's how you can help me, right? Yeah, right? Well, I don't know. All of a sudden, he's showing me. 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 I thought I'm not authorized to give it to you. Okay. Come back tomorrow. Yeah, that's it. You have your rules and procedures right. you that you have to follow. And, and, you know, okay. all that stuff. That's all. all right. That's it. Please just call tomorrow and we'll uh, straighten it out. Perfect. You have your uh, client ID on you? Your license? Or it's in my license. license. I'll go in there with you. Okay. Go Sounds good ahead. to me. So you gentlemen going to need me for anything? Or? <laughs> no, I don't no. think so. No? We got all your info. Good. Okay. Good. Get your name and badge number. I'm Officer Morales, number 238. Officer Morales, 238. I'm sorry, what was your what was your name and badge number, sir? Oh, you Ben? Right there. Yeah. Wow. Read, what, is that what you tell the judge? You tell the judge you can read? That's not really cool. There's no need for that. All right, we'll keep an eye on you, bud. All right, so that's our friend Sergeant Roman from the uh, audit number 11. In Montauk, you guys, uh, if you've seen that video, you know what his standard operating procedure is. And if you haven't seen that one, take a look at it. August, uh, I'm sorry, Audit 11, Montauk Fire Department. So we have East Hampton Town Police Vehicle 999 and East Hampton Town Police Vehicle 996. So it appears that it's just as I suspected. These guys park on some side street somewhere when they finish up early and burn time until they can punch out and get some more hours on the clock. Um, to some, that may not seem like a huge deal. 15, 20 minutes, half an hour here and there, but 
Boy, with the amount of buses these people have and the amount of drivers, and you add that up over 180 school days a year, times however many years, I'm sure those numbers add up very quickly. I know these uh, school bus drivers are making a minimum of $25 in each part-time. It's about $25 an hour, I'm sorry. And uh, those numbers add up quick, guys. But, you know, as far as I'm looking at it, my son does go to this school district. And I, uh, he does not ride the school bus. Um, but that's, you know, really not the point. The point is, is that we have a bus driver driving children around in this school district who's, now we know dishonest, um, lied right to my face, and uh, also dishonest as far as his time clock is concerned. So, you know, leads one to wonder what else is going on. You know, you work four, four to six hours a day at twenty-five dollars an hour, 100, 150 bucks a day, five days a week, part time. That's you know, it's not bad money. So then, I asked for the uh, inspection logs for the bus because there are requirements for these school buses. Um, Jeff Gray would know this a lot better than I do. Those of you who know who Jeff Gray is will get that one. Um, but they are supposed to have these records. They're supposed to be filled out daily um, at the beginning of the run, at the end of the run. And they're supposed to be made available upon request. And those records are supposed to be kept on the bus. So Joel, who's I was told was the supervisor and then turns out not to be the supervisor. Uh, he's the head driver now. Um, initially, when I asked him about those records, told me they were locked up in a vault in the office. So, I don't know, there's, this, is, uh, this is something that needs to be uh, examined a little further. So, we're going to do that. I'm going to come in tomorrow morning at 8.30. We'll speak to Joe, and uh, we'll take it from there. Oh, well, Joel's going over and giving the guy the all clear to get out of the bus. I guess he's still sitting in there, didn't want to get out. He doesn't want to be on video. You guys sure you don't want to just own up and put this thing to bed today, right? Because it's not going to go away. See, what these police officers don't know is as soon as they leave, I'm going to leave. So the longer they hang out, the longer we'll be here. But we will be back tomorrow morning at 8.30 to speak to Joe. about driver B from bus 13. It's incredible. Grown men that are entrusted with the responsibility of driving our children around. And this is what you can expect. Alrighty, you do the same. Look at him checking out my truck. Well, 
A few more tax dollars thrown to the wind. All right, guys, I guess that uh, ends the saga for today. As I said, we'll be back at 8.30 tomorrow morning to speak to Joe and uh, about driver B from bus 13. And we'll uh, see how it goes. So for now, I'm again to press coming to you from the East Hampton Union Free School District Bus Company with Watching the Watchman. Out. <laughs>